All right, what's good, people? Welcome back. We're going to take a look at Benny Snell. Uh, this is another guy we took in a mock draft uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe last week. Um, running back out of uh, Kentucky. Uh, you know, he's 5'10", 223 pounds, so a bit of a change up from what we have currently with Christian McCaffrey. And really, there's nobody behind him. Uh, Cameron Artis Payne is obviously a free agent, so looking to uh, fill a little void there in the running back position. I thought we should have drafted running back last year because the running back was so deep last year. Um, not as deep this year, but there's a couple of talented guys. So um, we'll take a look uh, at Benny Snell. So he's uh, let's well first we'll take a look and see what uh, Draft Network has to say about him. Um, Snell has been a productive workhorse back uh, for Kentucky for the past three seasons. Um, he has the size and power. Uh, to operate as a downhill runner in a gap power scheme in the NFL. Uh, while Snell enjoyed terrific production in college, his lack of burst and elusiveness traits uh, limit him uh, limit his NFL upside. His vision, power, and ability to win as, win in pass protection uh, are his keys to success in the NFL. Uh, by year three, Snell has the making, makings of a rotational back that offers value um, as a battering ram, pass protector, and special teams contributor. That sounds like exactly what we need. Uh, as from a Panthers perspective, we have Christian McCaffrey. We don't need a, a back to come in and do it all. Um, we need that change of pace back, and this is exactly the type of uh, characteristics we need as far as pack, pass, prote pass protection, um, etc. Uh, so again, just to remind everybody what we're looking for in our running backs. Um, to to add on to that, we're looking for his feet. How well how well his feet um, are. Uh, his vision, pass protection, receiving, uh, balance, elusiveness, power, competitive toughness, and versatility. That's what we're looking at um, just to round that out, all right? So let's let's jump right into the film and take a look at Benny Snell. I picked two really tough matchups, Kentucky and, um, and, uh, and Mississippi State. They've got good fronts. So we'll take a look uh, and see how he does against these two guys, two teams. Nice little physical run there. Yeah, I like to see a little bit more burst um, up the middle. Like, he's kind of lazy hitting that, getting that one yard. I like to see him get there a little bit quicker. See how he's like catching the ball, or he's taking the ball, and he's a little. A little slow with it, man. I like to see him burst a little bit quicker. Like, yeah, look, gets it, all right, yeah, yeah, and then I'm gonna turn it up. Like, I like to see him go a little bit quicker. Okay, a little receiving, a little blocking. Okay, flea flicker. Yeah, that was a busted play. You gotta dump it. Ah, uh, you should have threw it to him. Yeah, he's he's not hitting these these holes as convincing as I I would like him. Like he's just kind of lollygagging. I like to see him hit the hole a little bit harder. Pause. See what I'm saying? Like you're giving time for the defenders to get in the backfield. Like just get the ball and go. That was a physical run. I like that. Get the first down. Check him out blocking. Nice little block there. Yeah. It's like as soon as he gets the ball, he wants to dance. Like, yo, you got to hit the hole. Ooh, he missed the block right there, too. He missed the block. That was on him. That rush throw was on him.
Nice little tight end screen there. Oh, he fumbled. Damn. Nice little play fake. Yeah, I'm not liking his run style too much, man, to be honest. Like, he he getting it, and then he just kind of, you run into this pile. Damn, they lifted him up. Nice play fake. There we go. I'm still not, I don't know, man. It's something about his run style. I can't really put it into words. Here we go. Nice block. Nice block. That was a very good block, though. He's dance. He dances a lot. I like to see him be a little bit more decisive when he gets the ball. Like he dances and then just finds a hole. Like he's getting the two, three yards. You see what I'm saying? See how he's dancing? Like, bro, hit the hole, fam. Like, just go. Oh, he picked up one dude. He couldn't get them all, man. He needs some help back there, man. There we go. Nice little reception. He's power, powerful running back. I just like him. I like to see him hit the holes a little bit more decisively, if that makes sense. Oh. Ah, the wheel. Oh, you got to throw it. He had a nice little wheel route going. Yeah, you got to throw it to him. Right? Ah, okay, never mind. Yeah, I guess. He had to do what he had to do there. Oh. I'm not liking that. To get the ball, put your hand out, tap, put put your hand on the on the on the uh on the blocker and try to squeeze your way. I'm not liking that, man. Just hit the hole, dog. Mm, that was that was good. That was that's the kind of run I want to see. There we go. This is getting Simmons and Sweat. This this is what I want to see. All right. Now see, he looks a little bit more decisive running here. This is against Simmons and Sweat. So I, I picked these games on purpose. See, see how he's not—he's running completely different in this game. 
He's not putting his hands on the blockers trying to feel his way through. He's just hitting the hole. It's still much more decisive. This is like night and day. Now, if this the snail I'm getting, then I like it. Hmm. Yeah, these QB draws ain't working on this front, bro. They too good. Here we go, Snail. Hmm, nice block. He down. There we go. And that's what I'm talking about. Get through the holes, man. With all that dancing, man. There we go. Much, much more decisive. Love taking off. Hmm. Good tackle. Ooh, that ball took forever to get there. Ain't giving them no holes. Simmons right there. That's why I picked these games though. I want to see can he what he gonna do against a real NFL level competition. I don't wanna see what he can do against cupcakes. There we go. That was a nice hole. I think uh, that's not sweat. Hmm. Good catch. What? I want no catch. Nice. It's that batter, and that's what we need. We need that batter and ram down there. Uh, uh, you know, first and goal on the on the three yard line. Hand it off to Snell and get the three, the tough three yards instead of the wear and tear being on McCaffrey. I'm not opposed to it, man. This is good running. This is very good running. Hmm. Nice little pass protection. Very good in pass protection. See him catch one. There we go. Bounce it. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's a rumbler too. He ain't quick. He ain't the fastest. Uh, the fastest dude on the field, but he's a rumbler. Uh, he, he probably gonna run like a four, five with the wildcat. For real, the Wildcat, the Kentucky Wildcat. Uh, she's all, I like he's always leaning forward trying to get that extra yard. That's that's impressive. Mm. Tough throw. Tough throw. There we go, Snell. Yeah, he's balling this game. Boy, I was glad to see it because I was about to tear him apart. Don't go backwards. Ah, can't go backwards, man. 
You too big to be going backwards anyway. Pause. Oh, another pick. Oh. Hmm. More wildcat. Ain't no cats was still doing the wildcat. Simmons. Yo, he's a beast, man. I ain't, I'm gonna put. It's nothing you can really do about that. Quarterback, man. You got to do something, bro. That front ain't no joke. There we go. Nice, decisive run. There we go. I like that. I like that. Decisive run. Decisive. Just hit the hole and go. Like, it's no dancing. Love it. Love it. Yeah, he's balling. He's balling in this game. Wildcat. Hit the hole and go. Let's get the yardage, man. Much more... Much more decisive runner in this game. Mm, out of here. Out of here. Woo! And he ate the... Wow. That's impressive. That's an impressive run. Ate that tackle. Still fell in the end zone. Yeah. Shed that one. That's one. That's two. That's three. And he got the touchdown. That's impressive, man. All right. So, Benny Snell, again, that's a tell. As we as we worked our way through that film, you could see that it was um, a progression. Uh, I didn't see much in the in the first uh, tape against, uh, against Georgia. He was a little tentative. Didn't hit the holes with the burst. But in this Kentucky, I mean, this uh, Mississippi State film, he was much more decisive. And that's the Benny Snell I want to draft. Again, I'm not looking to draft any running back until at least probably the fifth round okay i'm not trying to take one high we need to steal one late maybe even undrafted but i'm not looking to take a, a running back high so um he, he was very, a very good pass protector uh, he i think he blew a couple blocks but uh, in the grand scheme of things it was okay um i like it i like him he's a power back um you know what he is um and that's what we need we need to change the pace back so that being said, I'd take Benny Snell late, fifth round, fifth, sixth round. If he's there, um, I'd, I'd take him. No no questions. I think we did take him in the fifth or sixth round in our mock draft, and that's kind of where I want him. Um, I don't think his combine is going to do much for him. Uh, I don't think he's going to run too, run it too fast. We'll see, though. That being said, like, subscribe, and uh, meet me in the comments. If I'm missing something, let me know. That being said, peace out. See you all in the next one.